Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Extras. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Reddit Roundup. Uh, the Reddit is finally back up. There was a strike uh, for uh, Reddit in general, not just MCC Reddit, but the MCC Reddit was down for two days and it happened to be the days where I was supposed to do a Reddit Roundup. Coincidentally, I was already busy with Block Wars teams, so that was the content for the past two days. Uh, but today, uh, Reddit Roundup. Before we do that, I opened up the MCC Reddit, and the first thing I see is me. So uh, let's cover this first because I'm in it, so... You know, I get to do whatever I want. It's my video, so... Um, someone said, I made very balanced MCC32 teams. Explanation in description. Uh, me, Misty, Velvet, Elena. Sounds like a good time. Uh, Jojo, Scott, False, Zombie, Cleo. Sounds like a good time. Um, puns, Dave, Gumi, Kara. Interesting. Hold up. Um, are these balanced? I don't know if they are. Either way, H, Callum, Impulse, Mythical Sausage. It looks very interesting. That looks brutally strong, but okay. Shadoon, Hannah, Sylvie, G. That looks really good as well. <laughs> um, Fruit, Becky, Green, Scar. Very interesting pairing of people. I think this could be pretty interesting, yeah. I like it. Pete, uh, Sparkles, Ant Venom, and uh, Dantidium. Obviously, we know Dantidium isn't planning on playing in regular MCC events anymore. I also, they put Aqua before Cyan. That's just a funny coincidence. Um, for the rest, this is cool. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, I like the team. Dan's just probably not playing. Um, Ant, Tubbo, Michael, Eretz. I like this. Very good vibes. All good friends. I like it. Um, Wally, Harvey, Michaela, and Amy. I, I think this is a really cool team. This is very unique. Obviously, it has two uh, relatively new players. I say relatively, two of the newest players um, on the same team. Uh, and it's, it mixes uh, different types of people. I think that's really cool. Uh, and then Illumina, Owen, Jack Manifold, and Blushy. Yeah, sure. Interesting, interesting teams. Uh, there's an explanation in the comments. No shovel, that is true. Where's Shelby? Um, I feel like H plus CPK is too strong. Not when there's Wolf plus Misty and Illumina plus Owen, yep. Uh, Red, Wolfie knows Misty and Velvet, Elena team with Misty. I know Elena too, but, um, okay, cool. Good post. I see me, W post. <laughs> Very cool. All right, right around up time. Um, only two and a half minutes late. Uh, all right. First post is from Harvey. Uh, participating in MC Pride today was a great opportunity for me to express myself. Personally, I consider myself an individual who typically wears basic clothing in public. However, last night I contemplated wearing attire I usually don't showcase publicly. Since the age of 17, I've enjoyed feminine clothing but never dared to wear it beyond the co uh, confines of my home. Now at 22, today was the day I decided to step out of my comfort zone for MC Pride. My heart was racing before I hit the start streaming button, nervous about revealing a part of myself I've hid for years. I was very anxious about potential negative comments regarding my appearance and inevitability of being sexualized for presenting as feminine. However, these worries faded when I finally displayed my fit to the stream. I received a lot of support uh, for my self-expression from my stream chat and, and my MC teammates, for which I am uh, incredibly grateful. Nice! Let's go, Harvey! I'm very happy to hear that, Harvey. Glad to hear that you are able to express yourself the way you want to, and I respect you uh, and support you, always. Thank you for the post, Harvey, uh, and, and I hope uh, things go well for you. Uh, Alright, next up, games for MC Pride. Yeah, the game pool for MC Pride was very interesting. Um, obviously, we've seen this before already, but um, yeah, the, the, the game pool ended up being a little iffy, or at least the game order, because it was like all the team games immediately, and then all the PvP games at the end, which is a little meh. I think that's just the balance in like the way the event runs is meh, but like the games itself, themselves were fine. I thought it was pretty fun. Oh, how the turntables. Being the best SOT player, being statistically the worst Sandkeeper, H-Bomb. <laughs> True, he did um, play Sandkeeper for the first time, I think, um, last Pride, or this Pride, and his team did not make it out of the dungeon. They got zero coins, which, I mean, that happens. Uh, I mean, it happens to the best of us, I guess. That's what the saying is for. It's for H-Bomb and SOT. So yeah, I mean, it happens. Um, well, he'll bounce back. H-Bomb's gonna set the record next event if he's in. I don't know if he is. I don't even know when the next event is. I'm guessing June 15th. No, July 15th, sorry. July 15th probably, but I'm not sure. Um, congratulations, Purple Pandas. Yeah, Purple Team 1. Misty W. My friends. Also, I should say this. When I say my friends, I'm talking about like my best friends, the people I like talk to every single day 
basically, which is Shane and Misty when it comes to MCC players. Those are the two people I talk to every single day. So when I say my friends are winning a lot, it's them two, just because those are my best friends who I talk to a lot. I'm friends with a lot of people in the event, and I think some people are seeing a misconception where those are my, just me and Shane, Misty and Shane are my only friends. That is not true. <laughs> I know a lot of people, either way. Um, my best friends keep winning. First event, both in a non-canon, half-canon, whatever you want to call it, event on a purple team. First time they play, they win. Well, first time excluding that they were testers. But very cool. Um, yeah, very, very uh, happy for Misty and the rest of the team. Very cool. And uh, may Misty play again in the future and win again in the future. Maybe. Who knows? Um, all, uh, all is as, as it should be. Zombie Cleo on first. Yes. <laughs> Good. I like it. Deja vu. Pete and Illumina. Techno and Quig. I mean, yeah, I guess. The the times are a little off comparatively, but I get I get the the idea behind it. <sighs> um this the top one sure is a heck of a lot closer than the one on the bottom, I I guess. I was watching, also more impressive considering that when Techno did it, there was only three laps, whereas with Pete, there was four. Um, I was watching Red and they are still winners either way. Red first half, smile. Red second half, shocked. Yeah. It was, um, it was not a great day for the Hermit Enjoyers, I think. Um, that's what I mean with game order. I know that, I'm pretty sure if the game order was changed, it wouldn't have mattered, I think, or it not would have, it wouldn't have mattered as much. But, um, yeah, I, I just, I, uh, I, I mean, this was kind of predictable, I guess. Uh, people were bound to vote for the quote-unquote unpopular games first, which would be Bingo and Build Mart. Um, even though people have been claiming that they've wanted to see these games back for a while, when they come back, Things are different. When you actually have to play them, supposedly, so suddenly people's opinions change. Um, I think they're fine games to have in the roster. Um, just don't be surprised when it gets skipped. Huh. That's my take on it. What's an MCC opinion that would get you like this? I think I responded to this. Uh, did I? Bring back Ice Boat to get to their side map. Did I get more likes than the... Ah, oh, I almost got more upvotes in the actual post. Um, yeah, that was my hot take. I think people actually agreed with me, so it's not very hot uh, of a take, but... I know the players would probably hate me for that take. <laughs> Amount of times an S-tier dropped out of the top 10. 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 13. Um... Couple issues. Why is Vicstar there? Where's Firebreath Man? That's it. <laughs> That's my only comments. They back, baby. Everyone. Oh, I thought you were dead. Bingo and build mart. My death was greatly exaggerated. Yep. Back for one event and straight back in the dumpster after this one, probably. Next event, I would be surprised if you see either of them return. Wouldn't I would love to see them back, but they're probably not gonna be. Um Kratzy, trending gaming. Mr. Beast needs to bring this back. Yeah, Dave's been doing good on YouTube Shorts. He's been popping up. Um, I hope things go well for great for the rest of the YouTube stuff. He's doing well now. Ugh. To the point where I've seen Dave Kratzy get recommended on my TikTok that I don't watch Minecraft content on, or like isn't my Minecraft TikTok, my personal TikTok account. I've seen I've seen Dave Kratzy appear, which is weird. Because I tried to separate Minecraft and memes, and yet it proven to be unsuccessful. MCC Wiki really doing my man Ant like that. Ant Frost, almost every time he got eliminated in some way or uh, or the other. I just got trolled. Ant Frost is a rec uh, this is just... Yeah, he does say that a lot. Similar scores because they're dating. A funny post I saw the other day was saying how me and Gucky would have similar scores for predictions because we are dating, which is ironic considering we both came 14th and 18th. So there isn't much fault in that theory. True. All I'm saying is, if you want to improve as an MCC player, Date an S tier. <laughs> yep, good strategy. That's how you do well. If you want to get better, or I guess it could either mean that you become an S tier because you're dating an S tier, or the S tier becomes, depending on who you would be, your level. Um, 
Either way, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> um, Karatsi finally S tier. Karatsi S tier deniers. Karatsi getting first individual. Okay. There's two things here. Three things here. <laughs> At least. Uh, first of all, I four things. First, I don't give a shit. Sorry, I swore on the channel. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care about S tier, but for the sake of arguments, I will talk about it. Um, so, first, um, it was a non-canon event. It's Pride. That shouldn't really count. Two. Um, so, that's against Dave. Ugh. Dave being considered S tier. Um, second, the roster of players is slightly different because there's a significantly lower amount of super cracked players in the event which is also against potentially dave being s tier third the game roster was not very favorable favorable for dave's typical minecraft skill that's in favor of dave being considered s tier because of this for fourth his team was a little busted he was he it, that wasn't the only team that was a little busted but his team was a little busted so you know Anyone else who prefers the old killing animation instead of the new? Oh, my take, by the way, Dave is S tier. Who cares? <laughs> He's really good. Like, I don't see the point in denying that. If he wants to be S tier, he can be S tier. Chat, uh, chat. Viewers, you should know this, right? If a player wants to be considered S tier and thus is balanced as an S tier and then ends up doing either equal to the supposed S tier status or worse, that's their fault. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that. In Block Wars, if someone wants to be considered the best player, that's fine. We're balancing them as the best, best player. If they do terrible, that's not my problem. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> Alright, next up. Anyone else who prefers the old killing animation instead of the new? Um, no, I think the new one is good. Uh, the new one is a lot cleaner. I understand that there's nostalgia to the old one. But I think the new one just looks nicer, cleaner, and different from other events. I mean, both Pandora's Box and I think Block Wars um, use this style of um, killing animation. Just because it's the easiest one, most sensical one, it makes sense. So this is good to differentiate MCC from the other two events. I like it a lot. Green popping off and random games continues. I think this was parkour tag, but I could be wrong. Um, either way, very good. Um, every player's best ace race placement. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Didn't Shane get first in underdogs, or does that one not count? I guess that one wouldn't count. I guess second would be his best. Anyways, uh, Red is getting destroyed by game order. They got the worst two games last after going for the crazy for the first few. Poor them, they probably won't make dodgeball. Yep, you were right. There's nothing wrong with the multiplier. Stop blaming the game for all your problems. A lot of people seem to think that Red unfairly lost it to the multiplier and that it is an example of game order system being unfair, but this is just not true. Red came first in the first two games and they did about average throughout the rest of the event. Even if you, even if you reverse the order, they only go up to third. Purple and orange, meanwhile, were in the top three teams for five out of eight events with purple coming first in three of them. Red, only, uh, Red also only comes fifth in all multiplied. See? That's just what happens. <laughs> You, I mean, I did say this on stream when predictions were being made. Oh, so this song is so long. The uh, next one. Okay. I said this on stream when we were doing predictions. I understand that Green and Jim and the entire team are really good team players and that they would excel at games like Build Mark Bingo, etc. And that happened to be true. But when it comes to the other games, having less... Um, I guess recent experience, less practice, um, hurts. It just hurts. And other teams just were better for PvP. That is an issue that MCC has had recently, which I have not seen many people actually properly acknowledge because a lot of people have been denying that recent MCCs have been more competitive, more uh, strong, because look at MCC Season 2 start. That Those teams were pretty crazy. You had Dream, Sap, Napaloo. That's when teams weren't as balanced. So, yes, there were teams like that, but there was also teams like the Simmers to balance that out. Uh, nowadays, teams are balanced, and every team is good. The issue is, if every single player that gets added is at least more competent than, the, than other players in the event, 
the skill level rises, which would mean that people like Green, Gem, etc. for Red Team as an example, it's not just them, it's just an example. Uh, people like that who primarily do like content and don't focus too much on practicing will fall behind. And that's just what happens. That's why someone like Dream, although he is still really good at Minecraft, someone like Dream stopped playing. That's why people like Dane to DM and other people probably stopped playing. It's because they're falling behind. They don't have time to practice and if people want to sweat, that's out of their interest and they don't want to play anymore. That's why I'm worried because people like Green are... I mean, I did a survey, he is the most beloved player in MCC right now by the people that cared to respond to the thing, which I imagine is the core MCC audience. If Green loses interest in playing because the event gets too competitive, the entire fan base loses their favorite participant. It, this happened with Rambu too. Rambu, when Rambu announced to potentially stop playing, which obviously nowadays we know that that's not yet happening, people were really upset because that's like the biggest streamer in the regular event. Um, and losing that, or losing Rambu hurts the event, and we don't want that. So, obviously people also lose interest, it's not just the roster's fault, it just also is a time thing where MCC's been around for three years, four years, it was bound to happen at some point. Um, but you might as well try to delay it, try to appeal to the people with higher viewership, try to see if you can get them to play more regularly, etc. Or you host more non-canon events, that works too. Um, either way, multiplier is not the problem, it's just the way the event plays nowadays is much different than it was before. Uh, new curse just dropped. Pete's team in first few games, Pete's team in last few games. Yep. Yep. A very scary possibility. The sand timer's at the final countdown. You put sand in. It was slowness. Yep. MCC S tiers plus H tier best placements. It's true. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. What are our predictions for Ant's Remix? Well, we already know what that was. Thoughts on Bingo? So now we've got gotten a chance to view the new Bingo, but fast in a non-scuffed environment. I was wondering what everyone thinks. Personally, I'm really enjoying it. It tests survival knowledge, which is something not as much tested in other games. And it gives a chance for people not PvP or movement oriented who focus on more survival-based Minecraft to have an upper hand. However, it isn't such a thing that if you don't do survival, you won't, wouldn't be able to pop off in. You just need to be able to think and plan well. My thoughts on bingo is simple. I think I've said this before. I think it's good to have, it tests a skill that isn't, well, Grid Runners tests it, but it's a different way of testing survival skill. It tests a skill in Minecraft um, that's different from PVP, parkour, etc., which is good. Any event, ev every event, MCC, Block Wars, Pandora's Box, all the other ones, what they always need, anything, uh, anything non-PVP or non-movement is always welcome because every single event, the easiest games to make and the easiest ones to make different are PVP and movement. The toughest ones to make different or the toughest ones to have are non-PVP, non-movement, like Bingo or Buildmart or Order Up or whatever the heck you want, right? It's That's just the truth because if it was easy, there would have been more games, but there's like three total across Pandora's Box, MCC, and Block Wars. Like three or four, maybe. <laughs> four team games, maybe, across all of them. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I think Bingo uh, fills a gap that MCC needs and other events would need it too. The one issue with Bingo is that it is not custom enough for MCC standards, I think. I think MCC likes to make things over the top. Look at Parker Warrior. Parker Warrior, new version compared to the old version. Super over the top, super details and everything and decoration. Looks nice, polishing, etc. It looks great, it works really well, and I think it's a good game. I don't know how easy it is to pull off for Bingo. I don't think changing Bingo is an easy task. If they could uh, rework Bingo to make it work differently, make it more customized, then I agree, Bingo should return. But right now, meh. I don't think it harms MCC, I just don't see the appeal for the Nox crew to spend their time on Bingo right now. Unless they just want a filler game, which I think is fine, um, but I don't see it stick really for mcc right now happy birthday awesome dude six days late but happy birthday update on the other video the other video was delayed the mcc gods yep mr beast video on mcc day continues yeah people i think i was live um 
before MCC and this video literally came out, I think right before or something. People are like, Mr. Beast uploaded. And it's like, huh. I did watch this video, it was a really good one. Quake back? Um, yeah, Quake is back. I don't remember why he didn't stream. Um, glad to see he's returning though. I imagine he probably has time for the summer or something like that. But uh, yeah, glad to see Quake is back. Um, does that mean anything for MCC? We don't know. I imagine not yet. I think the pressure would be a little too much for Quake to just jump right back in. Uh, maybe he'll ease his way back into MCC. If at all. Maybe he won't play. Maybe he will. Who knows? Um, no specific donation unlocks for MC Pride. Uh, 23 thoughts? I thought it was a little weird. I think it took away a bit of the charm of previous Prides. I think it worked out fine in the end. Um, but I saw some people complain, and I can see what they're where they're coming from, uh, that it wasn't there. Um, I mean, realistically speaking, the Nox crew have so much on their plate nowadays, where making like donation goals for MCC Pride 23 that's only being used one time ever and potentially takes up like a week or two of work just isn't worth it compared to like making MCC Island work or making a new game for MCC, etc. Right. So I get it. Uh, I don't blame them. Um, I understand why people complain, but it makes sense. Game order coin multipliers, like why do we need to do this every event? Their team simply losing this subreddit, literally any excuse why. Yeah, yep. My Pete's Ace Race run might be the best of all time. Pete's Ace Race run was really good. Um, it was really good, like exceptionally good. If you haven't watched the watch party or haven't watched Pete's POV in general, um, Pete, I think, finished, like, I think it was, like, 12 seconds or something ahead of Illumina, who was in second, and then uh, 30 seconds in front of third between Pete and I think it was Ant Frost, which is crazy. Absolutely wild that that's possible. But, um, yeah, he just popped off. They still popped off. Red dodgebolt, the game order. Yep. Yep. Watch, watching his every move. H-bomb after Ant Frost remixes SOT. You better not make me mad. <laughs> well, <laughs> we know what happened. S tier's worst placements plus H tier. 8th, 9th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 23rd, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Why are these out of order? What? I'm so confused. I thought this was in order. Why are these down here now? So what, is H technically the worst S tier? Or I guess H tier. Because he got 25th once. Which I don't think matters, but... Sure! <laughs> um, Pete cooked. Yep. Dr. Glue on Battlebox strat. Oh, I got shot once. Ooh, ow, 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 ow! Where am I getting hit from? Where am I getting hit from? The jump shotting, the jump shooting. Just, uh, just heal if you need to. Missy's caught in the corner right now. Oh! oh let's go! Oh, I don't on. know! Blue I on. think it's a bad map to sim a strat! I don't know! <laughs> no I think we should oh, go oh on the my god. Oh my no god! Way. No communication just goes... No let's way. go! That's pretty funny. And against the purple team as well. That's crazy. How many times a player won a run up to get to their side? Uh, fruit 20. Is that just first? That's wild. Every MCC player's best placement? First, yep. Afros just became the first person to ever get three vaults by themselves and blue uh, got four vaults. Ant got gold, blue, and green. He found all the vaults and keys himself too. Casual simmer four vault. Nice. Uh, actually, all of the S tier should be demoted. You know what would be funny? Can we just cap it at A tier? Take out the entire S tier. Screw the S tier. Cap it out at A. Doesn't matter. Just have a bunch of people in A tier. You know, A tier goes from like Fire Breathman or Purpled to like freaking I don't know who's like an A tier player. Rai Guy Rocky. I don't know. <laughs> so somewhere around that. <laughs> you know. Um, MCC contestants, be warned. As you may know, 1.20 has just come out, and I would like to make a post specifically for any current MCC contestants by saying that you can no longer do the fruit berries method in dodgeball. Where you can shift on the edge of the ice and can walk with no ice effect. This has now been patched in 1.20, so sadly like this method will no longer be uh, in use once MC transfers to all. 1.20. Oh no! Anyways. <laughs> they could just put... You know what the Noxru should do? This might be an unpopular opinion, but you know what the Noxru should do? They should add 
iron trap doors on the edge. So you can still do it. <laughs> Probably. You can still do it. It's just iron trap doors on the edge now. Solved. Uh, I see, but all the teams got six plays. Yep. Uh, requested by Green on a stream. Here are the event standings if the last two games were swapped with the first two. Um, Red would have been in third. Um, cool. Wait, who would have been last? Green. Ooh. Ooh. The Sand Keeper's gonna be under some real pressure this MCC. Player doing lava for course. Lone is sand, yep. Leo appreciation posts. For close first MC, she did great. They had co great cons and got 30 for their first MC. I love the energy she brought. I'd love to see them back. Me too. A little MC25 throwback. Punk, pork, scar. Yep. Okay, cool. That's the end of the red roundup. Thank you for watching. Um, guys, someone put me on an MCC team, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.